I'm Anil Kumar and here is an application of logarithmic function. The question here is determine how many monthly investments of dollar hundred would have to be deposited into a savings account that pays six percent annual interest compounded monthly for the account's future value of hundred thousand. Now this example has been taken for ease of calculation we'll have another example where the calculations will not be so simple so here let us write down what is given to us one hundred dollars per month is r value that is repeatedly deposited in savings account that is r interest rate i is six percent that means six over hundred or uh, uh, and it is deposited monthly so we'll also multiply by by one over twelve right so that becomes monthly interest rate and this could be calculated so which is 6 divided by uh, 6 divided by 1200 I mean okay so we could write this in decimals 1 uh, okay 6 divided by 1200 is equals to 5 into 10 to the power of 0 5 that means 0 0.005 right so that is our 6 divided by 1200 and we are given the future value as equals to 100,000 okay now once these things are given to us we can substitute and find the value of n which is the number of months correct now <clears throat> substituting what we get here is 100,000 equals to 100 times 1 plus interest rate of 0 0.005 0 0.005 to the power of n minus 1 divided by 0 0.005 so at this stage what you can do is you can uh, simplify here first or let's simplify here itself on the right side so we get 100 and this is thousand equals to we'll divide hundred by point zero zero five so we get twenty thousand so, okay so it is twenty thousand and then we have uh, one plus zero point zero zero five to the power of n minus one now let's divide hundred thousand by twenty thousand so we get hundred thousand divided by twenty thousand equals to one plus zero point zero zero five to the power of n minus one correct so thousand thousand cancels it goes five times so get five equals to one plus zero point zero zero five to the power of n minus one so we can bring one here so we get six equals to one plus zero zero I mean zero point zero zero five to the power of n so so we get 6 equals to all this now to solve this equation let me rewrite this equation here we have 6 equals to 1 point 0 point uh, you could write 1 point 0 1 5 anyway so we'll do that now to the power of n right so now to solve such an equation what we do is we take logs on both the sides so we take log on both sides so we get log of 6 equals to log of let me write this as 1.005 to the power of n and applying the power rule of logarithms on the right side we'll get this as equals to n times log of 1.005 and now we can find what n is so n is equals to log 6 divided by log of 1.005 so we can use the calculator and find the answer so we have log of 6 divided by log of 1.005 and that is equal to 359.24 okay so let's write down this as 359.24 so these are the number of months where in which you have to deposit hundred dollars correct so that is the answer in months you'll always divide and so these are the months okay months of deposit 
right so you need to round your answer to the nearest whole number so number of deposits which you need to make is 360 for getting 100,000 in the account thank you and all the best